Hello and welcome to a new episode of Kira Electric News. Um, where do I start? Okay, um, I've found a new Kia EU press release about battery preconditioning, uh, which goes back to um, the 20th. It says it would be available in Europe from the 20th of October. Um, I forwarded that to Kia Customer Services and asked the question and still sorry nothing yet but we are waiting for updates from our central technical team. Um, there had been a couple of people on forums and some people in the comments who claimed they were getting the update when their car was in for service but uh, my dealer says they can't find anything yet and I've even given them an, an alternate reference to look up uh, but there's nothing yet. Um, even the ones who claim they were getting it done have not come back and said that it's been done. So, uh, I don't think it's out in the UK yet. Um, after my uh, video of last week explaining how you would use the battery conditioning, um, a German user called, I can't, I can't, don't even know how to pronounce it, Koeschten, um, that's K-O-A-C-H-T-E-N um, said um, the upgrade is internally called well there were two uh, KTI 2022-183 and there was an earlier version but I think it's probably more likely 183 requirements for preconditioning are battery preconditioning has to be enabled that's either winter mode or the battery conditioning mode uh, depending on um, what you've got uh, DC fast chargers set a destination in the sat nav in multiple methods. See the previous video for how you're doing that. Um, high voltage battery temp um, must be below 21 degrees C. High voltage battery state of charge at least 24%. Time to reach optimal temperature less than equal the travel time to the charger. And distance to a destination less than available range. Um, Preconditioning will stop or not start at all. If battery precondition is disabled, high voltage battery temperature is greater than 21 degrees C, high voltage battery state of charge is less than 20% or it's disabled in the uh, navigation. Time to reach optimal temperature greater than travel time to charger. Um, and also in my previous video I, I mentioned it's uh, you've got to be 25 miles away from the charger for it to start kicking in or 40 kilometers. Um, so all this stuff is emerging. Um, some of this was also on a, a German EV6 forum. Um, I'll put a link to the forum in the notes, the translated version. Uh, that's very useful to read through uh, about people who are using it for real and uh, it's working well for them. The Nero EV zombie mode woes continue. Um, there have been attempts to fix it by Kia by updating the HVAC system in the car by the ECU and that hasn't um, stopped the problem it would seem and it's even happening to people who are not doing the preheat so um, I'll put a link to the Speak EV forum where that's all been happening all week and continues to happen um, I, don't, I don't know, it's, it's a weird one, it has probably got to be software um, it's, it's just very strange the way it won't let you engage the um, drive for that given a reason. Anyway, that's ongoing. Kia UK's Twitter account has released some more images of the EV9. And they say it's coming in early 2023. This uh, links up to what my dealer said, who said it, um, I, they probably have one to look at in a kind of roadshow in the middle of uh, next year. Um, so I look forward to that. And here are a couple of images. As you can see, it does look like a, a an enlarged a Kia Soul, as I or as I keep on calling it, a Super Soul. I mean, it doesn't look too bad. It's probably too much of a big, bulky SUV for some people, but I, I'll be interested to have a look and possibly test drive it when it does come out. So. Uh, I look forward to it. Um, earlier in the week I did a video about the, the missing um, active sound design item after my amplifier was replaced. Um, 
on this menu it's uh, I think it's between radio noise and driver assistance and on the vehicle menu I think it was third item down so it was between head up display and uh, cluster um, they claim my, my dealers technicians claim um, installing the update that's forthcoming in a, a week or two from Kia and might make it reappear it, it might just get redetected like an operating system to detect stuff at startup um, I have tried reapplying the previous update but it's made no difference um, so it's not reappeared so fingers crossed that it actually um, does reappear and we're looking forward to seeing what the new head unit software does uh, I've also read in that German forum that um, there are some enhancements for battery preconditioning so maybe the winter mode will be completely gone for all of the EV6 uh, drivers and um, we'll all get battery conditioning menu instead anyway that's all I've got for this week thanks for watching